Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Uh, today is Friday, February 4th, and this is your morning prayer. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Christ has appeared to us. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Christ has appeared to us. O come, let us worship him. All right, today we switch gears a little bit um, and go into, or begin, uh, the Gospel of John. John chapter 1, uh, verses 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him not anything made um, that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness, to bear witness about the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came bear to bear witness about the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory is the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness about him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, he who comes after me ranks before me, because he was before me. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God, who is at the Father's side. He, is a, he has made him known. In many and various ways God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he's spoken to us by his Son. All right, back to the beginning, very beginning was the word so um you know certainly this is a just incredibly rich and and thickly dense theological um bit of scripture here um so much springs up from this um you know jesus being the word of god um and just just right from that that jesus is the word um just so much flows from that you know that you go back through all the old testament anytime god is speaking that is jesus christ he is doing so through jesus so um you know the the wild stuff that you begin to see from that is you know things like the burning bush speaking to moses that's jesus <laughs> uh, the pre-incarnate Christ um, everywhere that God is speaking to his people when, when he is saying things to his people he is doing so through Jesus Christ when he's appearing to his people that is through Jesus Christ um, God or uh, the word is is what God sends to us to to deliver his promises, um, forgiveness, grace, everything. So he speaks this. He speaks everything. Um, he speaks creation into existence. He speaks um, grace upon you. And it all is being done through Jesus Christ. So, I mean, just right there, you can spend days, days on, on just that alone. Um, but then, you know, when, when we go further into this bit of scripture here, you know, that the word came, became flesh and dwelt among us. Um, you know, the beautiful thing about this for us is that, um, you know, God, <laughs> the word became, became flesh. The word became physical. It, it manifested itself in our space, in our time. Um, 
and dwelt among us. His pro- and and this so everything everything God promised everything that He and especially through Jesus Christ, who is the promised Messiah, the Savior who would save us from our sins, um, became absolutely one hundred percent real to us. Not not that He was not real before, but I mean for us who everything you know, the only things we consider real usually is what what we can see, what we can touch, what is tangible. And so God makes his promises tangible for us in Jesus Christ. And so um, the the good news for, for you and me today is that, you know, every single promise that God has made to you to watch over you, to keep you, to... Um, to bring you through trials and tribulations, to to take you through all the days of your life till the very end, um, and to be with you as you close your eyes and open your eyes into the next life. Um, every single promise has been made manifest and tangible and, and physical in Jesus Christ, that he has already delivered all of this to you in Jesus Christ. And furthermore, that, that it is... Um, it has all come to pass, and it is all, um, well, I mean, I keep coming back to tangible. I mean, exactly that, tangible. Um, so, you know, as, as we face difficulties today, as, as you're facing whatever you might be facing today, if it's hardship, if it's um, sadness, if it's, uh, if it's grief, whatever it is, um, you know, God has promised to, um, to bury you up to be with you, to dry your tears, to bring you joy. And this promise has already been made tangible for you in Jesus Christ. Um, you know, he's, he's delivered that to you, which is why, you know, as, as great as these morning prayers might be, and hopefully they are, <laughs> or at least they're good, um, you know, nothing can be being able to come into church and receive the body and blood of Christ, which is, again, the word made manifest before us, his, his very body and blood in, in under, um, and through the, the bread and wine. And so that we are actually, again, receiving his very promises in our hands, that, that this, is, this is the promised body and blood of Christ um, to deliver us into life everlasting. Um, so yeah, this is this is kind of a big deal, <laughs> and uh, you can spend a lot of time in devotion with this one today, and come up with so many, um, so much insight and so much uh, great, uh, greater understanding and depth of who Jesus is, what He's done for you, and how sure and certain His promises are for you, um, and that's. Uh, that's truly wonderful <laughs> to be able to have that, um, you know, especially when you need it. You know, if 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 you're struggling today, um, this is this is the word you need. This is <laughs> this is your, the word. Um, this is the word that pronounces that you are forgiven of your sin, that uh, you are set free and redeemed, that you are made new, that you are Christ's uh, brother and sister, um, that you are God's beloved child. So that no matter what you're suffering, um, your your divine family is right there alongside of you, um, and they have promised to always be with you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, that uh, God has delivered grace upon you, grace upon grace, um, and uh, yeah, just really good stuff. <laughs> All right, great way to. I guess we, we're not ending the week just yet. we still got one more day, but uh, it's a good one. <laughs> All right, well, let us pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power. Grant this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. 
Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you. Amen. Well, blessings to you on this Friday. Hope you have a, a great um, end of the work week, if, if that is the case for you. Um, and I hope uh, everything goes well for you today. Um, and uh, that you are delighting in all the wonderful promises of God. So have a great one. And until tomorrow, peace be with you.